Would you like to learn more about the Robinson curriculum vocabulary cards and how to use them? Then stay tuned for this video. Hi everybody, my name is Karen. Welcome back to our channel called Our House. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to go from questions to confidence, when it comes to the Robinson curriculum, I'm here to answer questions. And in this video, I wanna make it part of the how to use series. So we're gonna talk about how to use the Robinson curriculum vocabulary cards. Now, you can print them yourself from the CDs or from RC online, or you can also order them now pre-made just like this. They're very sturdy, they're coated, they're meant for long time use, and so if you have multiple children especially, this is a great investment. On the corner of each card, front and back, there is a number. So this is number 75, and this goes with the book Robinson Caruso. And so I have them labeled, and just I put them in envelopes. You can think of any organization system that you wanna use. So I just, Put them in envelopes for each book title. Now these words are a mix of words actually found in the book and also some other additional words that you might find on a college entrance exam for example or the SATs and they didn't really fit in any, they weren't really found in any of the books selected for the Robinson curriculum book list and so they kind of got peppered in, sprinkled in to all the book sets list. All right, so for example, remission, it has the definition here, pardon, and then it has a sentence. It happened providentially the very first day that, reading the scriptures, I came to see these words. He has exalted a prince and a savior to give repentance and to give remission. It always has dots where the word is supposed to be in the sentence. And so that is what the vocabulary cards look like. So how do you use them? Well, you can, if it's a big set, maybe break it down into a couple different sets to make it easier and just work on one set at a time. They can just drill them, just look at them, look at the definition, keep going that way. You can also combine this with the RC vocabulary worksheets. There's different crossword puzzles and word searches and matching. The matching one I think is very useful to help them remember. And also you can drill on Quizlet. The Robinson curriculum has uploaded all the words and definitions already on Quizlet for you. So they can go on there and just drill them just like you would with the flashcard, but electronic electronically. And this is helpful if you're not around, they can listen to how the word is pronounced and the definition. And they can also do matching. They can also do other games and even a test to test their knowledge on the vocabulary words. And so that is simply how you use the Robinson curriculum vocabulary cards. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will link a playlist to a 13 part series all about the Robinson curriculum if you're interested and I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching, bye.